today I want to make a card using the the new double scalloped card base by the Stamps of Life. This is a a pretty neat card base. I, I love I love the scallops. The set includes um, your base, so it cuts out a perfect A2 size card with the scallops, and it has two layering dies, a plain and one with the with the piercing, which we're gonna, I think I'm gonna use the pierced one, so I'm gonna leave that aside. And it comes with two sets of words, thank you and happy birthday, the uh, the shadow for, for both sets, and uh, the letters do come out individually, so when you cut out happy, you will get the H, the A, the P, they all come out individually. I guess if you get creative, you can probably come up with other words. Um, and a little cute flower and it's shadow. Now, like I said, I was wanted to use this, this, uh, this base with the piercing. So what I did is I cut out a piece of cardstock. Now this is flimsy cardstock. This is your cheap stuff um, because I'm going to layer on it, and I want it to be able to cut easily through the machine. And I cut it big enough to be able to incorporate the uh, the scallop layering die. So what I'm planning on doing, or my thought process, is to layer adhesive on on this uh, sheet of cardstock and then using the ribbon border dies the ones with the stitches i'm going to cut out a bunch of strips from this really old well i shouldn't say really old it's, it's five years old uh paper pad from the stamps of life from february 2015 that's what the uh, idea card says Dice holder. And I have all these scraps, and it's such a pretty paper that I thought maybe what I would do is cut out all these little strips and then adhere them diagonally to this cardstock. So that it'll look something, well, cut out, it will look, and then I would start layering it all the way down. And I'll see how that looks. So we'll come back. Let me get started. Okay, so I went ahead and I adhered all the strips and just a couple of uh, uh, words of warning because I decided to go diagonal. The strip doesn't go far enough, so I had to I had to uh, butt another piece next to it. I tried to get it as best as I could to match, but I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference. Um, also, once you have it all done, and I, own, I left this to show you, you just take a pair of scissors and you trim the excess. Sometimes if the excess is long enough, you could use it on another part of the, some of these that were long enough that I was able to repeat on another part of the, uh, of the, uh, the card base. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to find the center of the screen here and I'm going to cut using this layering die. So I'll be right back. Okay, isn't that cute? Oh, I think that looks so pretty. And now to decorate, when I was going through the scraps, this paper pad had these... Um, pre-printed um, sentiments on it. And I really liked the happy birthday. I already had it cut out. So I cut out the rectangle scallop and I think that's gonna be really cute on there. And I also wanted to use the new dyes, the spring flowers. Now, of course, the stems are going to be too long for this um, orientation of the card, but I'm thinking I could just cut it off and do something like that and add a couple of flowers. Of course, they would have to be solids, solid color or, or glitter paper uh, to keep it from being so busy. So uh, I'll come back with the next step. <laughs> 